Hey your bros and mofos, what the hell's going down? Stonely back here today on the server Age of Wyverns. It is my 24-7 Nitrado PvE Ragnarok server. Uh, we also have a PvP Aberration for you guys to play in. It's the same cluster. So anyway dudes, I wanted to show you guys something really cool that I just learned. Uh, I know it has been in game for a while, but I just recently got familiar with it. It is how to take pictures with the camera and paint it onto a canvas. Now sometimes it kind of takes a minute to load up. You can see right now it's not loading up from a distance. You get up close to it and then it loads up. So what I did was I spawned in a camera, took a picture of my villa from the outside, and then uh, came in and painted it onto a canvas. Now I've got pictures spread out throughout this thing all over the place. I've got pictures of plants, got pictures of more plants and uh, yeah I don't know so I guess what I'll do is head downstairs show you guys some more pictures that I have no I'm here at the desert villa in the new desert in Ragnarok and uh, so I kind of built out of Adobe and fixed this thing up pretty cool I think it's pretty cool anyway I've got working restrooms with toilets over here and stuff like that anyway this isn't a tour of the house itself it's just kind of I'm just kind of giving you an example of what you can do with your paintings so uh, first things first we're gonna go outside and I'm gonna show you guys how to spawn in a camera so let me sit down while I do this okay now the camera is gonna be cheap space GFI space camera space one space zero space zero now you've got yourself a primitive camera now if you want an ascendant camera, change that second zero to a 100. <clears throat> the ascendant camera is going to have more uses in it than the primitive. Now still the primitive gives quite a few uses, but just for the heck of it we're going to use the ascendant camera. You know, they both take the same pictures, it's just a matter of uses that they have in them. So what you can do is uh, you walk around with it. Now, you can sprint with it, sure, that's fine, that's cool. And you zoom in and you take a picture. Now you can see in my picture, it has the uh, claiming aloud and sparkle. It has like the HUD words, and you can see all the words when you zoom in. But when you take the actual picture, it's not gonna show those words. So don't worry about the words. Uh, like whenever I was taking pictures of my plants, it showed all kinds of words all over. It showed the word, it showed the name of the plant, showed the, crop plots and hold for options and all that kind of stuff so uh, don't worry about the words because whenever you actually take the picture the words are not showing and you can take a picture of anything you want dude it's like I might snap some pictures of some dinos soon um, so what I did for one of the pictures was I went a little ways into the horizon and took a picture of that uh, mountain skyline right there which I think is just beautiful and uh, anyway, like I might take a picture of my dude over here chilling in the spa. <laughs> I mean, that's just, <laughs> that's quite the picture, I'd say. Even when that big box pops up, that's not going to show up in, in the picture, so don't worry about that. So I guess uh, for an example, we'll take a picture of, let's see, we'll take a picture of him and then uh, we're going to go paint it. So what we need for painting, we're going to start with uh, spawning in a canvas, then we're gonna spawn in a paintbrush, then we're gonna spawn in all the paint that we need. Now it's a lot of paint and you're not gonna need all of it so later you can just drop it if you want to or put it in storage or whatever so the command for the canvas is G space GFI space canvas space one space zero space zero spawn in however many you want, I spawned in three I might show you guys three different uh, pictures. So we're gonna put that, I already had some, so I've got seven now. I'm gonna put that in our hot bar, and we're gonna put it, uh, let's see, where do we want it? I'm gonna put my camera up since I already took the picture I want. We're gonna put this picture right here. I don't know if I'll keep it there or not since it's outside and that's kind of weird. Uh, but just for the sake of making this video, I'm gonna show you guys uh, how to do it right here. So. We've got the canvas down, but we still need a paintbrush and paint. 
or die. So we're going to do cheat space GFI space paint brush space 1 space 0 space 0. Now we've got a paintbrush. Now let's put that paintbrush into our hotbar. Now we don't have any paint to paint, so we're going to spawn in. Now this is a unique uh, command just for the colors. So we're going to do cheat space give colors space, uh, let's see, 20. Now this number here is how many of each color it's going to give you. Now it will. this command gives you every color in the game. The only thing you can customize is how much of each color you want. So if you want 90 of each color, put 90. If you want 100 of each color, put 100. Uh, I just like to kind of put 20 so it doesn't like fill my inventory because 20 is quite a bit of paint still. So uh, that'll give you enough for a few pictures at least until you run out of one color and you can spawn in more. So uh, anyway, now we've got the colors. We're going to slap it with the paint. Now we're not going to select a paintbrush, I mean we're not going to select, uh, firstly we're not going to select a paint, and we're not going to select a region to color. We're going to go up here to the top where it says apply paint, right to the right of apply paint there are four boxes here. One is reset camera to home position, which means if I were to rotate this, I can make it go back to the home position. One is erase painting, so if I were to, uh, let's see, brush. Let's see, let's free paint. See, if I were to do any of this, blah, 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 then I can uh, back out and then go to erase painting. One is save painting, and since there's nothing there, I don't want to save anything. Although the save painting is going to be useful in just a minute, I will show you. So, but where we're going to want to paint the picture on is load paints from this type. Click on that. You have to have your camera in your inventory. And then you're going to select the picture. Now I have two cameras in my inventory so uh, all the pictures that I've taken from both cameras are actually showing up right now. So I'm going to, the newest picture is always at the bottom. So it's right here. Now you can see these are named pictures. Now this is what I was talking about with the save picture button. Once you paint a picture from your camera onto the canvas, you can save it and name it, and then that stays with you forever. But these camera pictures here, I think, I'm not for sure, because I haven't had my camera destroyed yet, but I think these camera pictures are only going to be there with you until your camera breaks. So what I would do is paint it onto a canvas and then save that picture. So if I ever want to, uh, you know, paint a picture of my plant Z, I would just click this without having to have the cameras on me. Or the same with the citronal uh, bush, plant Y, plant X, Sava root, my villa, all kinds of stuff. So what we're gonna do is paint the picture that we just took of my buddy over there in the spa. It's gonna look kind of funny because uh, it's I don't know. It's just I don't think there's a lot of color in that picture. Mostly just Adobe. I think he's gray, so it's kind of, be, I don't know, it might be kind of dull, but we're going to paint it. So you're going to click on the picture that you want. It's going to tell you how many resources you need of each coloring, and it's going to tell you what colors you're missing on the right. Now, if you did this command, you shouldn't be missing any colors. So you, once you choose your picture, you can scroll right up to load painting. and it automatically starts painting. Now it says loading painting until it's done. So if you're watching this from someone else's perspective, they see you move, uh, they see you kind of flip your brush in the air after you change every color. So it kind of does everything on its own and it takes a minute, maybe 20 to 25 seconds I'd say. Uh, 20 seconds sounds about right. And then the painting is done. So you can see to the left, Every time it's done with the color, it says consumed uh, that color, however much of that color it's consuming. And then you can see the preview here. Now you've got a few options here. You can take a color and put it onto your brush. Let's say I take Scion, put it on my paintbrush, select that paintbrush, and then paint region one. 
it's going to change the tint of that picture. Now, if you don't want to do that, don't do that. I don't like changing the tints of pictures. Um, sometimes it might be called for. It's just kind of one of those extra customization options. Uh, or you can take your paintbrush and you can free paint onto it, which I'm not going to free paint anything. I, I guess I'll free paint in the corner just to show you guys you can do that. You can even free paint on the board if you want. Anyway, I'm not sure if you guys can see that free painting I'm doing right now. In the corner, it's Scion. Uh, anyway, then you press B, it's done. I wouldn't suggest free painting on a painted picture though. You'd probably make it look ugly. And right up top by Apply Paint, where we did, uh, where I showed you guys where Save Paint was, I'm going to click that, enter the painting name. So I would call this, uh, I don't know, Spa Day. And you can't have any spaces here, it's not going to work, so you have to keep your words together. And then I'll click set. I don't actually want to save this picture though, uh, so I'm not going to set it, but then you'd be able to pull this picture up anytime you want. So after it's painted, just press B, and it's there. You can. Oh, that's kind of bright. Let me drop this torch over here. So you can see the picture here, and it's painted, even with our scribble in the corner there. So that's how you paint a picture, my dudes. Um, now if I were to pull out another canvas, I could paint that same picture as many times as I want now that it's saved. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys got something out of this video. Pictures really change the way houses look. I'm going to destroy this because it looks ugly with the scribbles in the corner. And I'm going to pick up my torch. Let's see. Alright, so anyway dudes, like I said, these pictures are beautiful. Especially if you're taking pictures of flowers. Now I think the prettiest flowers to take pictures of are plant X, plant Y, and plant Z. Now I'm going to show you why. Now especially I would really do the plant Z at nighttime since it glows at nighttime. I would think that would look amazing on a picture. Uh, I actually didn't do that so it's kind of daytime uh, in my pictures so I don't know. but. Anyway, it's kind of hard to see because he's got a torch right here, but let me uh, go over here. And he's still got the torch here, so it's kind of hard to see because it's following me around for some reason. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys what it looked like without a torch being shined on it, but I guess I can't do that because it won't go away. Anyway, dude, hopefully you got something out of this video and you enjoy your new paintings. Sometimes they don't render in right away, as you can see, like, those three aren't really showing up yet. But then you get close to them and then they're loaded in. And then you can back up and they're going to stay there. So, uh, every time you enter a room, you know, you might have to do that before you see it. But I just wanted to show you guys an example of, uh, you know, the different stuff you could do. Like here I took pictures of the villas, I mean my villa, and then I painted three pictures of them up here, so... Anyway, dudes, like I said, hopefully you got something out of this video, and enjoy, 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 enjoy your new paintings. I love them. They bring so much character to art. Uh, even in a PvP server, you could take pictures of, I don't know, like raiding another base and kind of humiliating them and then paint it in, like, your house to remind, like, your tribe of, like, the war you were in or something. I don't know, dude. Take pictures of dinos, take pictures of all kinds of stuff. Take pictures of like a naked lady and put it in your room. <laughs> anyway, dudes, uh, actually, yeah, let me, I don't remember, I don't, I can't remember if I showed you guys in this video or not, or not, um, I didn't take a picture of a naked lady, but I did take a picture of my boy Mad Dog in front of the fireplace in the nude, <laughs> and I put it on my bed so I can actually see him. Every time I wake up now, I wake up to him, so, yeah, it's kind of weird, but, uh, anyway, dudes, uh, I'm gonna be doing some videos soon on how to spawn in, oh, actually, I'm gonna take you guys on a tour of my villa here, and show you guys kind of how I did every little thing, kind of give you some guys some insight if you're trying to build here at the villa, and then I'm gonna show you guys how to spawn in each of the wyverns. Now, I showed you guys a long time ago, it's one of my most successful videos yet, how to spawn in all three wyverns. But, in that video, I didn't really know what the heck I was doing with commands, and I have found easier ways 
and faster ways to spawn in dinos since then. So I wanted to show you guys um, those commands. So I'm going to redo those videos. I'm going to do a video for each wyvern. Lightning, fire, and poison. I already did the ice with the right command, so I'm not going to redo that one. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to take you guys on a tour of the villa. I'm going to show you guys some wyvern commands. I'm going to show you guys the command for spawning in a tech cloning chamber with the GFI command. And I'm going to show you guys how to use it. I'm going to show you guys how to spawn in and use the glow stick, plant Z, plant Y, manticore skins, flamethrower, megalodon textile, and moza textile. So keep an eye out for those videos this week. Um, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you guys sticking around for my channel and uh, learning art as I learn art. It's really a lot of fun. If you guys want to join us here in the server, search for Age of Wyverns in the unofficial PC sessions list and you will find us. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to having fun with many more people. And uh, until then, I will catch you guys on the flip flop. Do 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 do